You are watching the number one podcast in the whole entire youth wrestling community, and I'm one of your hosts, Juanzo. And I'm your other host, Jean Paul Leck. Together we are. Ropey. How's every single one of you, family? Time to talk about NXT UK. You know, probably the best show that WWE has right now. And we had two championship matches. Show actually gave us like more matches for what's going to be next week. And of course, they had to have Ilya Dragon of M. Walter, but it's going to be NXT Takeover 36. Paul, your thoughts? Thumbs up, thumbs down, eh, average. Yeah, no, I, I thought this was a pretty good episode of NXT UK. I mean, it was one thing, you know, to say we saw two championship matches. I don't want to say the show is missing a lot of the star power, but I think a lot of us are just, you know, we're really excited for, you know, TakeOver 36, a couple matches on SummerSlam. So, like, this show, you know, it, it you know they didn't want to do too much because the main event match that would have been on this show, you would think, is going to be on TakeOver. But overall, I thought it was a good show. I enjoyed the main event. And I think they need to start building up, you know, more credible opponents for Mako. But we'll get into that when we Yeah, we'll get it. into that. So, like, you know, family, thank you so very much for everything you do for this channel. All the subscriptions, love, and all the social media waves. Don't forget AW Dynamite. Jump on that, break it down. Really nice, you know, and MJF beats Le Champion. So, like, he did the right thing because Chris Jericho is... is this is his time to be putting over, guys. And I am average Dynamite, I will say, right? Yeah, I mean, like we said, you know, the main thing here was the promos. You know, that got us excited. Pac had a good promo. You know, then we, you know, Moxley can cut a good promo against Tanahashi. That'll be, you know, a match where hopefully it'll be decent. But, you know, like we said, uh, going into Rampage on Friday, not, you know, the, the super, you know, greatest card in the world. But, you know, we are excited to see, hopefully, the return of CM Punk. CM Punk. Not there CM Punk. Be, so. Exactly. Unless they're going to do a storyline where it's like, oh, here comes the best in the world. And then Daniel Bryan comes out and is like, I'm the best. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean that would be cool. That would be yeah. a nice first cut. But we'll see. Yeah. Well, tomorrow, first dance, don't forget, it's going to be live. Jump on myself all the way. We're going to be reviewing SmackDown and Rampage at the same time. So be with us for that. And like you said, this show was opened by Mako Sotomayor going against Stevie Turner for the NXT UK Women's Championship. And this one was a match that like Stevie Turner gave everything she had. I feel she tried with all her arsenal, all the moves that she's used to doing. But in the end, you know, Mako Saramura even didn't do, like, the, the Scorpio Rising. You know, they didn't do even her finisher. But in the end, she gets the win. Yeah, I mean, you know, Stevie Turner, in the beginning, I thought it was going to be something where maybe she looked dominant or anything. It's, but her Most of her offense is just, you know, she used those long legs, the kicks and everything. You know, a couple forearm strikes and this and that. But, you know, like you said, yeah, Mako, she didn't even really hit the Scorpio Rising. It was She pretty much hit, like, a big Pele kick. You know, that, that was legit. And, you know, she was... Just going into the submissions, wore it down, you know, tap out submission. Like we said, when the problem, I, I don't mind that she's, you know, giving all these women a chance. And I thought the match with Amel was a little better than this one. But uh, it's just, you know, they, they don't feel credible because they're only being built up. Oh, you know, hey, you get in my face next week, you have a match. It's like you need to start really building somebody up credible. So whether yeah. that's a Blair in Port or, you know, whoever, I think, you know, they need to start doing that soon. They need to start like giving us like a uh, girls that like you actually. Yeah, because you, she can. I'm not saying build up somebody serious and then she has to drop it right away. But like you know, there was like you know the Tony Storm and uh, I, Kaylee Ray feud was really serious, and Kaylee Ray retained. You know yeah. what I mean? You can build up these really serious feuds and still have your champ come out on the other side. So I know that, that's what I'd like to see. It's true, oh, and like yeah. you said, like right here, like we got to see like the submission call that like Mako like made Stevie tap out. We had to see Amelia yeah, McKenzie. The, the, SD, the SDF. Yep, or, SDF. Yeah. You got to see like yeah, there Amelia McKenzie Paul. Like so, like yeah, she's really happy. So maybe there's gonna be a feud between the two blondies right there. But like in the end, Mako sort of more retains. Like you said, like this is not gonna drop the title. I think the next like the first series should be either like Blaine Davenport or maybe uh you know Eva Valkyrie, but like Eva, like you said, maybe they're gonna drop it to her. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But that was a great start of the show. You know, let's go like Masters Mind is gonna be in the main event, they're gonna be fighting for the NXT Tan Team Championships. We'll see what happens on that when we get there. What do you think about these two guys? Carter and also like we get to see Kenny Williams, like just you know, talking about their possibilities about the Heritage Cup. Yeah, I mean I thought this was a good promo. You know, you had uh 
Carter, he's pretty much just saying that he's proud of who he is and, you know, he's going to represent not only the heritage of British wrestling, but his heritage. And then you have a Kenny Williams who's like, I don't care about heritage. That's just a bunch of old over the hill guys who can't, you know, let go of the past. And he's like, I'm pretty much just going to shit on all their heritage. When I become the new champion, you know, the scum of the earth is going to be your heritage cup, you know, champion. He's like, you're going to hate that, but that's just pretty much what it's going to be. Exactly. So, like, you know, Google Promo is just showcasing like, what's going to happen in the next couple of weeks so you know let's go another promo right there because we're going to see like the final encounter it seems that we hope right in between like joe coffee and also rampage brown like they've been like saying the world is tied right now we've seen like so many matches but like uh you know at the end uh, rampage says i'm going to beat him and also joe coffee says i'm going to be the last man standing like i always am and it's always going to be the same outcome so we'll see that next week and like you said two things added this is a knockout or submission match whatever the outcome is it's got to come up with those two so, I mean, like you said, whoever wins this is going to become number one contender. And, you know, it needs to end right there because, you know, we've seen this way too much. Oh, I mean, uh, see, I, I agree with that. And I was saying that for the past couple of weeks. But the same thing, like, with uh, they're kind of getting me the same way that uh, Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly, that is. I mean, the good video package. These guys are serious. You know, it, it's, you know, it's been a couple of weeks now. Since we've seen them, we're not seeing them on TV. We said Gallus is acting a little goofy, but at least Joe Coffey's, you know, always yeah. serious. You know, Rampage Brown is always serious. So, you know, I, I like this. I'm looking forward to it because of the style of the match it is. It's going to be a knockout or a submission. I believe they said that last week as well, but they're, you know, reiterating it, hyping it up. You know, is that is that next week or in two weeks? Yeah, it's next week. Next week. So yeah, that'll, probably, that'll most likely be the main event for next yeah. week so i'm looking i am looking forward to it but i think it is going to be the final one they do at least and hopefully you know like uh, it will be nice if like let's say dragonov is the champion which we hope that he is yes he shows up at the end you know with the title and everything or like that would now, be even really if cool. like maybe let you know he wins the opening of nxt uk should be him coming out like ah uh, duh you know and then he can maybe come out at the end and like you exactly. said exactly and they're gonna out. be like okay okay yeah you guys uh, whoever won there you go it's gonna be next so good stuff mm -hmm. we have to see our bog saxon heisley Saxon Huxley, Paul, like we Better haven't seen him next in, time. in like forever, you know, in like forever. We haven't seen this guy, and actually he fought Eddie Dennis, and this match was actually not bad. Just, you know, two big guys, but in the finally, you know, like this guy never wins, but like at the expense of Eddie Dennis, that unfortunately he always loses. Saxon Huxley gets a win. And, hey, you know, what happens when you put the guy who never wins against the guy who always loses? You know, there you go. what I like, it's like who, somebody's got to win here. So, yeah, and like you, you said, know. like Eddie Dennis, I mean, he has like a, like a good physique and everything tall, like he's Jack. Saxon, you know, like the Bruiser Brody and everything, but in the end, you know, he got the win. I mean, I, I was fine with Saxon winning. And, you know, as I'm watching this, I'm thinking, okay, like, is he actually going to, you know, how is this, you know, what, like, because you think. You know, okay, symbiosis, you know, they have the numbers, even though they then they went to the back, you're like, okay, or, or they didn't really get involved. You're like, okay, you know, it's pretty even. And I was surprised when Huxley got the win, you know, because his finisher, he just kind of like picks him up and then just kind of like, it's like a slam, but it's yeah. not like a slam. It's like, he just like holds him and then like falls down <laughs> with him. It's like weird. It doesn't, you know, I was, I didn't think that was his finisher or anything when he hits that one two three and i'm like oh shit you know better luck next time well it looks like it's next time for saxon huxley because he won and you know nigel was putting him over on commentary so i'm thinking maybe they're gonna push this guy maybe they thought okay hey you did the jobs you know we're, we got to start pushing new people you know vince mcmahon's coming in stealing all the <laughs> legit people no pete dunn no walter no they you know no uh jordan devlin like they're all done you know what i mean so but then after the match, you know, he's like, Wee -ee -ee -ee, and then, yeah, beat him and then he got attacked by the other members of Symbiosis. So, yeah, you know, we get to see, like, uh, he's always, like, getting, like, mm -hmm. beat up in the end. But we said, maybe Saxon Huxley has a, like, future. Like, he's going to be pushed better, and that's fine. Or maybe he needs a better finisher. Mm -hmm. I, was, I, mean, I was waiting for somebody to come out and help him. I'm like, maybe we'll see, like, Jack Stars and Mastiff. And then there'll be, like, good. a sixth man or something. I'm, that's what I was waiting for, and we didn't see it. So I'm like, I, this, because we didn't see that, I'm like, I really don't know what they're doing because it's like, you know, that like he took one step forward by winning, but then getting beat up after the match, it's like two steps back. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, like I said, one more time, like uh, the tag team championship match is going to be the main event. Let's see the guys from Pretty Deadly acting goofy, acting like a metrosexual. That's their style. Hey, you know what? Even Nigel was uncovered. What the hell is this crap? So, you know, like I, another good promo by Jeannie and the fashionista and Joseph Connors and also Eva Valkyrie. I love this. This is like for me. There is a really good feud. It's credible. Both of them are like they hate each other. And of course, like the same uh, narrative that like, oh, like you high, you're just a girl. 
all of that stuff. And he says, no, I'm, I'm going to beat you this time. You don't, you're not going to be able to have Joseph Connors. So that's good. You know, I like this. And this is going to be also next week. So this is probably going to be the opening match of this show. Yeah, you know, I, I'm looking forward to this as well. Because like I said, you know, this the one thing I like about this brand now, let's do it for the champion, is that we can have these good feuds, you know, here in the mid card building people up. And that's what I think this is going to be. Hopefully for Valkyrie, hopefully they don't do like, oh, let's push Ginny again just because to give Mako a credible heal or something. But, you know, this match is good. I, and like you said, I like the verbiage back and forth where, you know, she just, Ginny says you're a weak little girl. And she's like, weak, you know, you don't even know the definition of strong, you know, all this stuff. Exactly. That's going back and forth. And like, you know, oh, about Joseph Connors being locked up. Now you won't be able to win. She's like, no, he's just going to get a front row seat. So like they kept going back and forth. The verbiage was good. I'm excited for it. Exactly. No, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So that's going to be like what I'm really looking forward for that show. This, like you said, I don't know if it was needed or not. Probably not because that, that took away 10 minutes. That, that could have been a straight hour of NXT UK. But I mean, Danny Luna goes against the, you know, Isle Dawn and the match was pretty decent. Uh, I think Danny Luna is getting better in the ring. There's more power in the moves that she does. And also Isle Dawn is not such as like a stronger wrestler. So I feel like here's the advantage for Danny Luna. But in the end, they're trying to tell us the story. And I don't know yeah. what it is, but like, it's weird, right? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's weird because, I mean, maybe they, you know, plans change. You know, okay, we're going to do something with a, a different with Amelia McKenzie. But, like, they tease that feud with Isla yes. Dawn. And then all of a sudden, you know, boom, now she's feuding with Danny Luna. And I thought, oh, maybe Danny Luna is going to be a stepping stone. She's going to beat her and then maybe call out. Amelia McKenzie, and then maybe she'll beat her, and then she'll be able to go to have her match with Mako Satamora again or something, because she had one before Mako was champ, I believe, and then it's, you know, do something like that, but no, she's just being weird, trying to grab her hair all, like, goofy and silly, and then she actually does get a chunk of the hair, which I don't think was actually her hair. No, like, no, no, awesome. no, no. Yeah, like no. in a pocket or something. Oh, and, I'm you know, sorry, like Oh, yeah, sorry. yeah, and she's like smelling the hair, like some weird, you know, it's just like weird. Danny Luna hits, you know, her big power bomb, you know, one, two, three, or sit out driver, whatever you want to call it, one, two, three, you know, done. And, you know, and for the cake uh, lovers right there. Yeah, there but go. I mean, if you want a little bit of cake, go ahead. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, you, you you gave the other type of cake with the pretty deadly shot. Now we're getting the real cake. Here, exactly. Right? Now we get like the good cake. Yes. Yeah, but no, yeah, I mean, this was. Girls and boys, yes. Yeah, exactly. You know, we're, that, that rope break's legit for everybody. But uh, yeah, you know, uh, th I mean, this was just weird. Because I'm thinking, you know, like we saw, we, we like this show that it's an hour. We don't care it was an hour and 10 minutes, but we got this match. It was kind of weird. Didn't really make any sense. Didn't really do anything for anybody, really. And it would have been 10 minutes that, you know, the show would have been an hour. Instead yes. of an hour and 10 minutes. But we, we got to no, see it, where they it go. Is true. It's true. Like, like you said, we'll see what happens with Isla Dawn also. Like maybe uh, she can have a championship match with Danny Luna. is like maybe warming up for a championship match. We'll see what happens. Good video package of all Ilya Dragunov and Walter. Like mm -hmm. uh, we got to see Nigel right there, Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, Matt Riddle, all of them talking about just how serious this match is going to be, how violent it's going to be. I love taken how they had the all level. these... All these executives, all like for the NXT, NXT UK, they had all these like, you know, European wrestlers, you know, Sheamus, like you said, Matt McIntyre, and then just Riddle. <laughs> it's just like, like there's, there's nobody else. You know, like, no, but I think, I think it's because he was like a former MMA guy. He was, well, he knows that, like, yeah, legit yeah, is, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he knows when it comes to be legit. So, like, you know, we're going to be, for me, this is like the main event on TakeOver. Like, this is on a personal mm -hmm. level. This is going to be my, my oh, main and, event. And I don't know how you felt, but to me, this is like the feud, you know, when Triple H says and uh, William Regal say, like, this is the feud of, you know, one of the greatest and toughest feuds in the past how many years? You know, you believe it. That's not, just, they're not just blowing smoke out. Oh, no, ass. You know, no. They're, they're serious. And I love this promo, you know, this whole thing. At the end, when it's shown from the press conference they had, and they just how they play the piano in the background, it makes it feel like I said, like the way they do these, like this one and the Adam Cole and O'Reilly, it feels like you're watching like a movie trailer. It is, you know what I mean? exactly. it feels so, but but like a legit movie, like one. No, it, it, like, it's see? all like it's very sports related, so it's yeah. good. I like that. So that's really good. That's going to be the main event. Don't forget the live Sunday. You know, jump on myself going over everything, every single move, everything that happens right there. Let's go to the main event, and that's Monsters Mountain against Pretty Dead. Like I said, we gave you cake with the girl, we gave you cake with the guys. So it's time to like put some. Yeah, so, and and now we see why they uh why they were turned around. You know, they didn't want to show anybody because that, that was like what what are they doing? And then they yeah. come out here, and then you see the, they had the glued on mustaches. That was funny. I popped for that. I'm like, that's legit. Exactly. So, like, yeah, yeah, you know, like that, that's good. Like, and the match actually not bad. Like, the both guys, like, both teams did a really great job, especially Pretty Deadly kicking out out of like Master's Mountain, like, main moves. 
Like, especially when, like, a Tyler Driver, a Tyler Bate, not Tyler Driver, he did Tyler Driver onto, I think, Howie, I think, and then he kicked out. So, like, you see yeah, that, yeah, like... Yeah, Lewis Howley, yeah, when he kicked out of the Tyler Driver. I, I thought that was the end, but see, you, you know how you can cheat if you're watching on Peacock? You see, oh, no, they got six minutes left. Yeah. You know, like, oh, this ain't the end of the match. You know, like, six minutes, that's too long, you know? So you knew he was going to kick out or something was going to happen. I wondered, actually, if uh, Stoker was supposed to break that up, and he didn't. And then maybe Holly kicked out, or maybe they're really trying. Probably to put because, uh, yeah, Stoker was far from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah or like, I, maybe not. So maybe they're just really trying to put pretty deadly over, which to me is fine. Like we said, oh, yeah. you know, when we, you know, NXT UK started back up, we saw these guys were like, oh, you know, they can get heel heat because, like you said, they get the metrosexual vibe, they and get under people's skin and stuff. But no, they're legit. You know, in the ring, they can go. This match and, convinced yeah. me that they're actually really legit because of like yeah. the amount of kicking out, like you said, like because they did that, like Masters Man, and then like also their move like the mustard thing i think it's called like uh like they did it like that the tag team move that they do and also like they kicked out but in the end you know that was the main distraction con howley he actually threw the towel and they say mm-hmm. like in the ref to thought that that was a uh, trend seven doing that and that actually opened like yeah another the room going after the hit him yeah. with the bell yeah because uh sam stoker you know he was going after the like the the he did like a chop block on the Tyler Bate on like I believe it was the right knee or left it don't matter one of his knees he picked him up and he did like the airplane spin like you know mimicking Tyler Bate but he came down with the spin while just grabbing onto the injured leg you know that he chop blocked and then got the submission like you said then they threw in the towel and it's like oh Trent did you throw in the towel no I didn't and then boom the headshot with the belt. One, you know, then they hit spilt milk. Don't be crying over spilled milk now, Mustache exactly. Mountain. One, two, three. You know, the champs retain, which is the right move, you know, because like we said, this really solidifies these guys. Mustache Mountain didn't need the belts, you no. know, because I really think, you know, you want to tell the most legit story you can tell. You know, unfortunately, none of these guys are going to win, you know, to, to switch gears here. None of the guys in the tournament are going to beat Tyler Bate for the Heritage Cup. It should be Trent Seven for the whole. Yeah. Oh, I got to get you your first championship here in NXT UK. They didn't do it here in the tag match, but that's where I think it's going to be. And that's the outcome that it needs to be. You know, that's actually the storyline that I want to see. So, like that exactly. These guys needed to retain because, like, they they can bring other teams. They need to build up maybe mm-hmm. like Jack Stars. Will also, you know, they've mastered that will be another option because they're baby faces against heels, and they have other opportunities. Like you said, Theo Man and Raja. They have all yeah, their options they can go. Oh, yeah. And if you want to have these guys, you know, run their course, and I think they're getting pretty popular because, like you said, you and I were like, oh, you know, okay, these guys. But this match really, okay, no, they're legit. You can maybe in, in a little bit turn these guys baby face, and, you know, that might be in a match against, like you said, Tio Man and Raja, where maybe they drop the belts there because then you can, okay, in the match you can have them be the baby faces and Tio Man and Raja be the heels. Exactly. So that, that can be, but, like, there was, like, a, like I said, pretty – you know, solid show of NXT UK family. Thank you so very much for being with us. One more review to go. And we have like a whole week. And the weekend is just around the corner. And we have like so many lives that you can even tell. Remember though, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday lives. Magdon Rampage tomorrow. Then we have SummerSlam on Saturday. And Sunday, we finish with the main dish, NXT TakeOver 36. Be with us either right here on YouTube, Facebook, also on Twitch. You pick the outlet and we deliver. That's all we got to do. And Paul, where else do we have like more outlets for uh, people to follow us? Well, you know, you rattled them off, but let me tell you the exact name so the family does not get confused. And that is Rope Break on Facebook, OG Rope Break on Twitter, Original Rope Break on Instagram, Twitch, and TikTok. And of course, right here on YouTube, the home of the number one podcast in the YouTube wrestling community, the Original Rope Break. So you and me have one more thing that is left to say, and that is... Uh, uh, the- the-